A bus carrying 20 adult Special Olympic athletes crashed in Dodge County today. The athletes were on their way home from Nebraska when the bus tipped near Waupon. Two people were seriously injured. One has now been released from the hospital. But authorities say the results could have been much worse. Fox 11's Cameron Clark has the latest for us. A lot of them didn't even take their medals off. You know, you had to remove for x-rays. Well, they kept them, you know. The Special the Olympics softball team, Mark Wolf Graham coaches, had quite the weekend in Nebraska, winning a national invitational tournament. But it was how the trip ended on their way to Appleton that may have been the most heart pounding. How it could have been, you know, just a few feet here, a few feet there. Uh, we were very lucky. There were 22 adult athletes and coaches on the bus, all from Wisconsin. There were several golfers in addition to the softball team. And the teamwork that was on display all weekend made the trip home as well. These guys, just ask Alan Feeble, were so impressive to me. Their, their own concerns were second. They were always concerned about everybody else. He was driving the bus and spent the whole weekend with the group. Feeble was one of the more seriously hurt with several broken ribs and internal bruising. While he was released from the hospital after several hours, one athlete from Green Bay is still at Theta Clark Medical Center. Feeble says he had to replace a blown tire about nine hours before the crash and thinks another may have caused the rollover. The bus all of a sudden pulled itself to the right and I, I yanked it to pull it back and we, we clipped the sign. I pulled a little more and we hit the guardrail and we end up sliding across and resting on our side, on one side. Authorities say there is a blown tire on the bus, but have not yet ruled the cause. On the other side of that guardrail, there was a large steep embankment. It absolutely could have been a lot worse. Um, the guardrail really, I think, prevented a lot of what could have been a horrible tragedy. It was an unexpected ending to an exciting weekend. In adversity, they just worked together, just troopers. But the team stayed together off the field. Cameron Clark, Fox 11 News. The male athlete at Theta Clark is listed in fair condition right now. His coach says he is expected to be released.